and welcome to The Puntillas, a space made to share knowledge both for professional and aspiring dancers. Today, we're gonna talk about elastic ribbons. I'm gonna walk you through how to measure them to perfection, as well as how to saw them into your point shoes, and finally, how to put them on, because it is a little bit different than the normal satin classic ribbon. I have always had the classic satin ribbon, like 99% of the dancers, but I changed into an elastic ribbon. Now with it I discovered like an entire new world and that's why I wanted to share it with you. Now in order to not make this video too long, I created a blog post uh, that will be uploaded on my webpage De Puntillas on the same day that this video goes up, so make sure that you head down to the description box below. There you will find the link, so after you watch this video, make sure you head over there. There, basically, I tell you the reasons why I changed from a satin one to an elastic ribbon, as well as walking you through all the different characteristics that this ribbon has, like the finish, the resistance, how strong is it, is it slippery on the tights, um, the color, everything. And at the very end, I also just speak about a couple brands that were, that they have this ribbon available and the characteristics of each of those brands so that if you decide to buy this ribbon, you can find the one that is suitable for you. Okay, so with that said, let's just get right into the video. So the first step is cutting our ribbons. Now, the first difference is that our satin ribbons don't change in size they stay the same size. So that's easier in the sense that if we cut a really long string, we do our point shoes and then we just cut the remaining, right? That's pretty straightforward, that's easy. That's an adventure that they have. Now, that's pretty different when we're talking about an elastic ribbon because of course, it's elastic. Now, it's very important that we get the right, perfect size so that they're not too small and they like struggle our Achilles and our ankles, but also that they're not too big and they're just kind of not doing anything, not doing its job. And then our heel can come off and then the whole shoe comes off. And the whole point of the ribbon is to hold them in place. That's the first difference. And the second point here is that we need different amounts that we normally need for the satin. So that means when we're using a satin ribbon for one pair of point shoes, we need four strings of of um, ribbon. That means for one shoe we will have two pieces, one that comes on this side and the other one that comes on this side, right? The classic. But when we're talking about the elastic ribbon, we are gonna need two pieces of elastic ribbon for one pair, meaning that for one point shoe we just need one string of ribbon. We're gonna touch it to one side, creating a loop and attaching it to the other side. You will need a point shoe, elastic ribbon, a safety pin, and scissors. Before we start with the ribbons, make sure you sew first the elastics. Once that's done, grab your elastic ribbon and a safety pin. Place the ribbon where you would normally sew it. Turn the shoe over so that you can place the safety pin on the outside in order to protect your feet to not hurt yourself with the needle. Double check one last time the placement of your elastic to make sure that it's properly placed. Next, we are going to measure the elastic. Start by putting the point shoe on and don't tighten the front elastics just yet. Next, grab the elastic ribbon. And if you are working with a roll, just roll it up so it's easier to get around your ankle. When going around, make sure you add tension to the ribbon, but be careful to not overdo it or it will be too tight. We are going to start by crossing the ribbon and wrapping it around our ankle, as you can see in the video. 
Once you have reached the front, go on one more time around your ankle, and then take down the ribbon to the right side of your arch. Let's repeat it one more time. When you are done with this step, the feeling of the shoe should feel as if your ribbons were already tied up and sewn and ready to go. If you feel like it's too loose, repeat the same process, but with a little more tension on the ribbon this time. On the other hand, if it feels too tight, repeat the process, adding less pressure to the ribbon. If you are happy with the tension, just cut the ribbon at the level that you were holding it on the side. You have created an example ribbon with your uncle measurement. From now on, it's as easy as cutting all of your ribbons, taking this one as your reference. Now, the second step is to sew the ribbons that we just cut it into our point shoes. As we have mentioned before, we have a different amount of ribbons. Usually we have two, now we have one for one shoe. What happens is that it might seem pretty straightforward, but it's actually not. We have to touch them, like we said, from one side to the other. But there's something that we have to take into consideration, and that's the elastics. I personally have two elastics that are crossed like so, like looking like an X. Now, we have to make sure that the elastic ribbon is sewn underneath the elastic. Why? Because when we put them on, we really have to quite maneuver, and if the elastics are line underneath our ribbon, they're really gonna get just tangled in there and it's gonna take a little bit longer every time we put our shoes on. When you put your shoes, I think it's something that you want to do efficiently and that you want to do quick, also in case that you're in a show, you have to take them off for some reason and quickly put them back on. I don't think it's something that should take a lot of time. So this is also something that you have to keep in mind. Start by grabbing your elastic ribbon and place it on the side of the point shoe, just like you would normally do. If you have any doubts on where to place your ribbon, I have an entire blog post about it on my page. I will leave the link in the description box below. Next, you're going to attach the other end of the elastic ribbon to the other side of the point shoe. Make sure when doing this that the ribbon isn't twisted, so that it's sewn nice and flat. Once the ribbon is sewn, tuck it inside with the point shoe so that it's out of the way. Like this, sewn elastics will be a lot easier. Go ahead and sew the elastics to the back of the heel in a cross. And we are on to the third step, which is putting the shoe on with our ribbons sewn. Now, we created a loop, so how do we put them on? Okay, so no stress, it's really super easy. Let's zoom in. Grab your point shoe with the ribbon and elastics already sewn. And tuck the ribbons from the shoe. Grab the ribbon loop that we created, making sure it's not twisted. Next, the right side of the loop goes on top of the left side and hold it with your left thumb. That will create a cross. Now, with your right hand, twist the ribbon and tuck it underneath the first cross that we just created. Finally, separate the loop with your thumbs and put on the shoe like you would normally do. Adjust the elastics and ribbons as needed, making sure they are lying nice and flat without any wrinkles. Let's repeat that again. And you're all done. And that's it. Now you have your point shoes with your brand new elastic ribbons. I hope that it was easy to understand and to follow all those steps. I'm sure you did just fine. You did just great. It's okay at the beginning, I think, to feel a little bit um, unsure about it. I mean, at first, I wasn't like 100% because I think I wore satin ribbons for such a long time that when I put something completely new, especially in point shoes, I think everything feels a little bit... Um, 
like you can't be sure right away but now honestly i really cannot imagine it any other way it's like the best change i've ever done on my point shoes i love it i hope you enjoyed it as well and i see you in the next video bye